Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back today with the TrackMan 4 radar-based golf launch monitor. All right, if you guys haven't seen our first look video where we did a full unboxing, make sure you check that out. We also did a course vlog out at Pebble Beach, but I've had a ton of people reaching out, specifically a good handful of people that all wanted to see short chipping and short putting. All right, the TrackMan 4 is a radar-based unit, so it actually has to see the ball flying. So in an indoor environment, radar units, all right, in the past have tended to struggle with that a little bit. And, you know, TrackMan's been working hard. They've been releasing a lot of updates. They have this new ORT or OERT technology that's optically enhanced to radar tracking. You can see I have my light on here uh, where it's actually utilizing the camera alongside its dual radar technology, all right, to track the ball indoor. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to leave my camera the size it is because I, I want you guys to see the ball, you know, at least be able to see it where it's landing. I have a dot that's about nine feet or so. All right, so I want you to be able to actually see it flying inside the studio. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do. I appreciate it. It helps support the channel. Make sure you comment below any questions you have, um, anything you'd like to see. That's exactly why we're doing this video right here is I had a bunch of people request it. So Let's just start off. You can see a bunch of red dots down there because I was actually out here messing around ahead of the video. Just kind of wanted to get a feel for things. All right. And that way I could try to, you know, kind of call out some shots. So if I, uh, you know, land this at the bottom of the screen, it's about 10 feet. We'll try to do that first. So that was a little past the, the screen. Oh man, I almost sunk one right out of the gate. That was 11 feet which I would have to say that that was well done uh, reading it on its part because it was center um, and it was just past this, you know, the, the bottom of the screen and it had that at 11 feet. Now, what I have noticed so far is that it does struggle reading chips less than eight feet. And I'll show you guys that. I don't think it's getting high enough off the ground and it can't actually see the ball. All right. And that could be something that you might putt. I mean, I don't know if you could putt out a rough like this, but I don't think that the pin necessarily is going to be tucked right against the rough. That'd be an interesting situation. Um, but just so you guys understand. All right. So let's go ahead and hit one more here. That should have been about 12. Yeah. 12 feet. All right. We're landing them right by the pin. So you guys think have an idea of what I'm, what I'm, you know, going for here. Now let me do this. I'm going to try to land one short. All right, let's say the pin was really close. Let's say this was a tough chip. All right, try to land it like that dot at nine feet, maybe even a little less. That was at the dot, eight feet. Okay, so it had it, and that could have been a little bit short of the dot, but I mean, I honestly feel like it was close to the dot. The dot is, the dot's a little over a foot from the screen. I mean, the dot's close to nine, it says eight. Um, you know, so take it for what it is, but we got it to pick up a nice eight foot chip. Now let's see if we can do one shorter than that. That was only about five or six feet, let's call it. And notice how it didn't pick it up. All right. So good example of it, uh, not being able to pick up like a six foot chip. Okay. Now let's say you had to like lift a ball up and you wanted to hit like a short flop. Let's see how it does with those. This kind of hit down on it, carried it 13 feet. You could see how it had that arc on it. All right. So it is capable of picking up those short flop shots. All right. Do one more for you guys. Got that one up way high. <laughs> and of course, I carried it way further, 25 feet, and it rolls right off the green. Um, even though this is going to roll past. Let's do like a, a bump and run scenario, okay? I'll, I'll lean my, my wedge way forward and we'll do something like this. Kind of like that bump and roll out. There you go. So I see how it only carried 13 feet, but it rolled way past the pin, all right? So I feel like it's pretty good performance. Uh, this style of chipping, let's move our ball around a little bit, all right? So now let's go out of the rough and let's move over here into this fairway position. This is one of let's let's make sure we're nice and you know we could even switch uh, targets if we wanted to. Um, but I like this. This is challenging. All right, 13 yards. Now we have spin. 
All right, full spin, 100%, 100%. Remember this penalty deduction, power and spin reduction. All right, before we were losing almost 20%. So now let's see what we can do. All right, 13 yards. Oh, it wasn't enough. And that wasn't a great chip either, but it's a good example. All right, so let's go ahead. I've got to carry this further. That last one I want to see was 11 yards, and I have to kind of go up and over this this rough. This is a good example. How was that? Oh, <laughs> look at it stop now with the spin. So now I'm spinning it like it was only 2,200 or so, but man, that thing checked up on me, and it's uphill almost three feet. This is a good example. How about that? There we go. All right. So I'm kind of getting this one figured out a little bit. You see how all my red dots disappeared? Every time you switch the shot, they disappear, just so you guys know. I think this would be a good example for kind of one of those flop shots, too. And that's too much. All right, so that makes sense. This is actually a, a very difficult chip, because if you land it short, you can see how it's kind of stopping. I think this is this is where you'd want to kind of bring this thing up. Let's see. That's it. That's what you want to do right there. I'm going to get that nice arc and get it to stop. I got to spin 22.59 on that. I mean, these are soft chips. Good luck spinning them, you know, high, that's for sure. All right, let's try another one like that. Really got to open my stance up to keep this ball going straight when I'm laying the club down that flat. That's probably too much. Spin. <laughs> All right, 36 feet. But I think this is giving you guys like a really good example of like different chipping. All right. Um, why don't we move into like a really close sand shot like this? That's only 11 yards. And you get spin out of it, but you lose some power. So I have to add about 10% power. All right, 11 yards. Just like I normally would a sand shot like this. Oh, I, I thinned it. See you later. See you later. I thinned that sucker. All right, fair enough. Let's try that again. Not bad, not bad, all right. There we go, now we're talking, right next to the pin. Ah. I went right with the one, so I try to go a little bit left. I mean, those are those are good good chips for me. All right, so I think these are a lot of great examples of chipping. Um, I can still do one other example for you guys that if you were like off the green and you were trying to, like let's say you were over here and you're going at that pin, all right, and you wanted to do like a bump and run scenario like we were on that one, because this is 25 yards. So, I mean, you're talking like 75 feet. So you could you could let this thing roll out, okay? So let's do like a bump and run situation here. And that was honestly a little high. All right, rolled out for me though. Let's see if I can keep it even lower. And you know, some people use different wedges. I can even grab a different wedge. You know, whether you keep your wedge and you lean it way forward, got to keep those hands forward at impact. That was pretty low launch, probably too far though. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's see how it does with like a lower launch. Let's grab a 50 degree and do the same thing. This will have a nice low launch. Look at that. Nice. The bump and run with the 50 degree. 3,000 spin. 
I can keep it lower with this easier. Man, I watched some guys with a 58, you know, hit it so low, it's awesome. Roll up there. Roll up there. Just not enough. It was right at it. All right, one more like this. Good examples for you guys. So if you, if you have enough distance, you can do super low chips. Ah, got the distance rolling to the right, though. That's a little too far. All right, I can't leave on that. One more. One more. It's addicting. All right, here we go. Just launch to the right. Just off a line. Not too bad, though. Not terrible. Not terrible. From the pin, it said three feet. I mean, that's a makeable putt. All right, now it's time to show you guys putting. So, first, let's grab a pin. Um, I'm going to grab this pin, and then I'm going to move the ball up there. I'm hoping there's some undulation on, uh, on the green here. Um, I do have it on auto align. That, that pin does not have great undulation. That seems very flat. Let's grab a different one here. Um, let's see here. Select target. Um, let's go over here. We'll grab this. There we go. I'm seeing some undulation now. Show you guys some putting. What did I do? I moved way too far away. Moved on the wrong one. All right, so we can start off with some long putting if you guys want. Like here's a 36 foot putt. All right, and I have it on auto align. So you just putt straight, okay? I have 10 stimp, so 36 feet. And I think that was really short really short. I hit it and then thought after 36 feet. How are you going to get that 36 feet? All right. Let's just refocus here for a second. That should be closer. Oh, right at it too. Right at it. Man, that first putt, I'll tell you what, I don't know what I was thinking there. Brain fart, I think. All right, 36 feet. Come on, come on. Nailed it. Total redemption from that terrible lag putt. All right, obviously you can make a 36 footer. Let's, uh, let's shorten it up here a little bit. So let's start with uh, like 10 feet, all right? Move it back just a little bit. How about eight feet? We'll start with eight. Let's start with eight. Eight foot pots. This would be the minimum gimme distance currently on uh, VG2. Very nice. That stopped like just at my dot, which is about, you know, just shy of nine feet or so. Um, so it really can show you how uh, an eight foot putt is uh, very simple to make if you have the right speed and direction. That's two in a row. All right, so eight foot putts, no problem. Now for the ultimate test. Can we make four foot putts? Now I'm gonna purposely only putt these four. I'm not gonna jam them in the hole, all right? So I'm going to putt for like five feet on here. Here we go. That was about six or so. Yeah, I mean, really, really, it was almost seven where it landed. So let's try a little bit softer. All right. Obviously, you can make it, but I really want to leave this short. That rolled about five. Perfect. All right, if you roll at five, you make the make the four foot putt. And this is where I've been pretty impressed. The fact that I can tap in 
four foot pots, rolling them about five. Rolled that about five. Got it. And you know, I mean, this ball is, what's the ball speed on this? 4.3. Here's another one. Let's see if it reads that. Oh my gosh, it read that. It only rolled a little over four feet. Uh, that's about four feet, honestly. About four feet in the sim, and it was short. So it kind of shows you, because it's one inch downhill, I mean, that probably should have gone in for how far it rolled in here, but what's my stimp in here versus that? That's a 10 stimp in the software. This rolls like 10 and a half. So honestly, if I was playing 11 stimp, that probably would have went in. Um, because yeah, this rolls about 10 and a half. Every time I've checked the stimp in here with the stimp meter, it's in between a 10 and, a half, 10 and 11. Every time you measure it out, it's 10 and a half. That was about, oh, and see how it lost a little direction there? So once you get down to these really short putts, if you're really trying to tease it, all right, it can struggle a little bit from four feet. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and try to tap this one in normal speed. That's about five feet. I mean, you, you can make, you can make four foot putts on here all day. Um, so I think this is a good example. I mean, I think you, uh, you know, got a good, good opportunity to see a bunch of different chipping, um, you know, a bunch of different putting. Try to make one more of these real quick for you. And here's the other thing to understand. My, it, that one that went offline very well may be because my surface. You're supposed to putt on a very flat surface. I'm putting off of a hitting mat and it's hitting this bump. So honestly, I don't know if you guys have seen that or not in the video, it, it's, it's very possible that that putt bounced. Now, if, I mean, look, look at this right here. Like if I roll it, you can see the, the bump. There's a, there's a significant groove there and they say it should be really flat and smooth. Um, so, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of pushing it a little bit. Let's do one more. The smoother I roll the ball, the, bet, the better I bet it reads it. Um, if I hit down on it and it starts bouncing and bounces off of that versus a nice smooth you know, putt, I'm sure it's gonna make a difference. Here I am hitting like five more of these for you guys, whatever. See that? And it bounced a little bit that time and look how far off center it is. So here's center right here and it's over there. So, something to understand, it is reading launch direction, and it said 4.8 degrees to the right. So did it bounce and take off to the right? I mean, yes, based on that. So something to maybe understand, if you're gonna use a radar unit and putt with it, that you're probably sacrificing a little bit of accuracy. If your uh, surface is not perfectly smooth like mine, if you can't roll your ball. See, when I roll it really smooth, it tends to go dead straight. Ball goes straight, not only in the sim, but also in here, launch direction 0.5. If I bounce the ball, it's going to hurt my direction. And that's just something I think that you really have to pay attention to with the radar unit. So I think this is a good example of uh, chipping and putting. I mean, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say. You know, please comment below and let me know what you think. Um, any questions that you have, anything else you'd like to see, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, like I said, please do. And if you're looking to purchase a TrackMan or any other hardware or software, please shoot me an email. It's always pinned to the top of the comments in the description. Thanks for watching.